Hello guys, my name is Harish Ravgi. I'm a B.Tech from NIT Raipur and I appeared for Computer Science Gate 2019 and I was able to secure a All India rank of 6. So in this video, I'll talk about my motivation for appearing for Gate examination and why I was interested in Gate and how I decided that I'll give Gate, even though I, I had a placement and I was working for Broadcom. So in 2014, I joined Computer Science B.Tech in NIT Raipur. First year, I basically explored what to do, how to do. Then I uh, made a goal of pursuing masters from abroad from one of the top universities. And by top, I mean top 15 like Stanford, Caltech, ATS Zurich, all of those big names. So I looked, I searched a lot. I searched Quora and various links from Google on deciding what needs to be done to get into those top universities. So I was able to figure out few things that I need to do. Firstly, I need to have a very good grade. Secondly, I have to score very good marks in GRE. Third, I need to have some research experience under my belt to get into at least one of those uh, top universities. So I started working on that. Uh, I secured a very good grade. By the time I graduated, my uh, cumulative CGPA was uh, 9.61, uh, which included 10 perfect 10 pointers in four semesters. Uh, plus, I scored a very good marks in GRE, 334 out of 340, which is like 99 percentile. So, and also I uh, published four research papers, did a lot of uh, research projects, and I also uh, did a research internship from Australian National University, uh, which is rank, I guess, around 20 uh, over the world. So, I was pretty confident that I'll get into masters. I was like, sure. So I basically wanted to do that now, but as life is, I was not able to get into any of the 11 colleges that I applied for. So I was very disheartened and broken because uh, firstly, I was so sure that I will get into it that I didn't plan on not getting into it. Secondly, it cost me a lot also in total, I'll, I guess around two lakhs for all the applications and different exams that I gave, but I was still not able to get in. So I didn't have a plan, but uh, uh, one valid question that comes out of this is why I didn't get in. I had such a good profile, then I should be able to get in. That question haunted me for a lot of time. It still haunts me to this date. I have basically attributed my failure to two reasons. Uh, first is that we in general tend to focus more on numbers and quantities. Uh, I focus on getting good marks, getting good grades, uh, more number of research papers, but I have realized that rather than the, that, I should have focused on the quality. If I had even done one good quality research paper, I believe my chances would have increased to get in uh, those top universities. Second reason is that there is a brand factor involved here. So I come from a college which doesn't have a good alumni base in the top universities. Plus, uh, they, they, they do not recognize NIT, any NIT for that matter as one of the top colleges. So my grades do not carry that uh, weight that similar grade from an IIT will carry. So these are mainly the two reasons that I attribute my failure to. I've learned from them. Uh, so uh, one big learning is that now I focus only on quality. That's why I, I, and as you can see, I only aim for the best things. That has been with me since I joined NIT rapper. So now, since I couldn't get into the best universities of the world, but my goal was still intact of pursuing a PhD. That was my final goal. It has been and it is still now the same. So for that, I charted a different path this time. I searched a lot to find where I can do the best research in India. I looked into industry also. I thought maybe I can join some research labs and then from there I can pursue a PhD. But uh, somehow I felt that IASC has the best research in India, the best quality of research. Uh, I found its name everywhere. It's almost synonymous to research in India. So I decided to pursue IASC. And for that reason, I decided to give gate. I zeroed down on IASC and that too specifically the research program of IASC. So even now, I, I didn't plan to get such a good grade for the research program of IIC, uh, top 250 rank is enough in Gate Computer Science. But uh, so that was my aim initially when I started preparation. But now since I have got such a good grade, I can easily get into, for example, the flagship CSA program directly without any interviews, written tests, anything. But still my goal remains the same. 
I want to do the uh, research program at ISC. For that, I'll be giving interviews and stuff. So, so if I have to explain my motivation for appearing for gate examination in one line, it'll be research at IISC. So while all of this was going on, I still had to prepare for joining for my job at Broadcom. While I was applying for uh, various colleges uh, abroad, I got placed in Broadcom. It was one of the first companies that came into our campus for placement. I sat in the interview, I cleared it, then I never thought about it because it was just a backup. I never actually planned on joining it. But that backup then became my reality and now I was facing the prospect of preparing for GATE while also doing a 9 to 5 job. Now this was very scary for me early on uh, but it got better as I started preparing and uh, so I was scared and intimidated by this prospect of uh, preparing while working uh, a job. So I also thought of taking a job early on before I joined. Um, I, I thought better of it at the end because uh, what happens is I was already low on confidence because I was not able to clear, uh, I was not able to get into those colleges. Uh, so I didn't want my confidence to be that low when I gave the actual exam. So having a job does wonders for your confidence. When that first salary comes into your account, your confidence level shoots up. That is what happened with me. I, I was not able to focus on my preparation early on, but after getting the salary and getting settled into my job, my confidence got better and I was able to focus more on my preparation. Secondly, what happens is GATE is one three hour exam. Anything can go wrong on the day. You can get ill, your vehicle can, your tire can get punctured, anything can happen. You can't bet your whole one year on one exam. If you're not able to clear that exam, then another one year you are unemployed and again preparing for GATE. I didn't want it to go through that. So that's why I didn't take it off and decided to join Broadcom. Yeah, uh, and for engineering mathematics, uh, when you're done with the videos and if you do want to uh, like um, have more practice, then you can use this book. It's a very good book, uh, especially the probability section is very uh, well done in this book. So that's all for textbook. I didn't uh, refer to any other textbook mainly because I didn't have time. If I had time, I would have preferred other books. So you can if you have the luxury of time. Now coming to the main uh, preparation uh, resource that is of course uh, Ravindra sir videos. So basically uh, I'll tell you how I decided on that. So. As everybody, uh, during B.Tech, uh, I used to watch uh, Ravindra sir's video. What happened was, normally I'll, uh, I'll read from textbook and appear for exams. But there was this one subject that I really struggled with, which is compiler design. So for that, one of my friends says that there is this sir on YouTube and he teaches very well. Especially compiler design because all the parser videos were freely available on YouTube. So the evening before my exam, I sat down, I watched all the videos and my concepts were crystal clear after that. And I scored very good in that exam. So since then I've been a fan of Sir. And, uh, but back then I never planned to pursue a gate, so I didn't look into other videos. So now while I was looking for resources to study, I thought that this will be a good place to start. Because I, I was never fond of coaching. Plus, uh, I was working a job, so I could never do that. Plus, what happens in coaching is that they teach at their own pace, which normally is slow for, if you are an intelligent student, it, it will feel slow to you because they'll be teaching at a median pace, looking at the whole class. So you don't want that. And especially if you're working, you don't want that. You have to uh, learn at your own pace whenever you get time. For something like that, uh, Ravindra sir's videos are the best, hands down. There is no competition in that. So naturally, I uh, decided I'll study from them. Now came the question of uh, money. So I uh, went on to the website and uh, the course price was around 30,000, including the test series. So I was like, it's a lot of amount, especially since I had wasted a lot of money earlier also in my applications. So then I, I had this friend who always used to study from these videos. So I contacted him. He was like, I have all the videos. Why do you need to buy it? You can take it for free from me. I was like, this is good. Perfect for me. So I, he shared all the videos from me. 
and I started uh, started preparing from those videos for at least around one or two weeks then I quickly realized that not all videos are there first of all nowhere you can find a complete collection of videos as it is available on website using the paid codes so I quickly realized there are not uh, so it had it didn't have CO which is like one of the most difficult subjects it, it didn't have full videos of CN only some part was there some part was not there plus mathematics was not there and these are for me one of the three most important subjects which I considered so anyways I was like no this won't work and it, it doesn't work for anybody if you're going for gate you have to have a perfect pre pre preparation for that you need all the resources all the good resources that you can find so I decided against using those uh, freely available videos and I decided to take the course so I paid the amount I got the course and I was extremely happy with that so I'll explain what you miss out if you don't buy the course uh, now I'm not trying to talk you into buying it it is totally your decision but you have all the collection very neatly aligned and uh, so you don't have to worry about what to study how to study everything is in a sequence just go and start watching videos that's all you need to do plus there are a lot of questions and the most important thing support so uh, Ravindra sir's team is amazing whenever you have a doubt you quickly fire a mail they'll reply within 24 hours always their uh, response time is amazing so you will not get that if you don't join a university uh, sorry if you don't join a coaching plus uh, you take the freely available uh, videos then you are losing a lot and 30,000 amount is nothing compared to what you are getting out of it so that's why I decided to uh, take the videos so my second resource would be videos apart from this now uh, you would run into some uh, doubts like uh, mainly when you're solving the previous year gate questions now in that case it it gets very cumbersome to again and again write emails asking for solutions so what they have done is uh, midway during my preparation they created a website uh, uh, for specifically for previous year gate questions so you can log on to that and you can easily uh, find all the solutions there are no conflicting solutions only one solution which is perfect so you do that so I use that also yeah so apart from those previous year questions there is something called as a geeks for geeks it is a very good website it is normally used by all computer science graduates I'm sure you are aware of it I use that site mainly for revisions they have good small notes which you can use directly for revision so basically I use these textbooks videos previous year question website plus geeks for geeks this is all the resources I have used for my grade preparation okay guys so I wanted to add some points regarding the resources so I spent around two weeks in deciding what all things to follow so uh, normally that is uh, I, I felt that I wasted a lot of time there you should not because I didn't have anybody to guide me on this so I researched on my own and tried to find what's best for me and whatever I picked turned out to be very good but for someone uh, who has uh, some idea of all the resources that you need I'll suggest not to waste a lot of time in changing resources in midway if you are not doing well so normally it is not because of the resources so don't keep on changing the resources like now I'm studying from this book this book is not good I'll switch to other book it wastes a lot of time the concept will be there in almost every resource that you can find you're watching videos you're watch you're studying from books you're taking coaching whatever every everybody will have the same concepts stick to whatever you have chosen and just go through it don't waste time in deciding and modifying your choices all the time that's it thank you